Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short little video about how to grow lupins. So lots of people took inspiration from a few of the videos that I made last year about lupins and I posted a few pictures of, of them on my Instagram and um, I wasn't expecting people to go crazy for them because in the past I haven't been um, very fascinated by lupins. I, I thought they were a bit I don't know. I just wasn't really into them. So I um sewed some I don't I don't know even know why I put them in. I think I was just probably looking for something to test out that was new. Um so I decided to sew some in spring 2020, I think. And um just put them in a little perennial bed and they they flowered weekly in autumn time in 2020 but then in the following year 2021 they produced lots of nice flowers and I was spellbound by them I thought they were really nice um I really kind of fell in love with them and it, it was a nice surprise because it wasn't something that I was expecting to enjoy growing so I made a few videos on making bouquets and um and then obviously I posted a few pictures of my bouquets featuring lupins on my um, Instagram and um, I got loads of comments and um, I always get messages from people saying you've inspired me to grow lupins this year because I um, really like the pictures and the videos that you put on of them. So I am just starting off a, another fresh batch of lupins because I last spring I didn't sew any more um, and I regret doing that now. I wish I'd have sewn more because they were really popular. So. I am um, just part way through sowing the uh, lupin seeds so I'm just going to get you up to speed with what I'm doing to germinate them and then um, show you how I'm sowing them and things like that. They're pretty easy to do um, from my own experience. I have grown them for two years now and they are um, perennials so they are coming back year after year um, and looking really good so fairly easy to look after. Um, they're doing really well in my clay soil. I haven't really done anything specific to them. I just started them off from seed, put them in the ground and left them to it. So I think the only consideration is um, there are some problems with uh, lupin aphids, which I haven't actually had a problem with myself. Um, and I think that slugs and snails can be a problem with them as well. Um, but obviously you just do what you normally do with your pest prevention techniques. So um, I tend to leave aphids alone. I don't do anything to specifically get rid of them because I find that within a couple of weeks, um, nature kind of balances itself out and the aphids come and go and we can carry on harvesting the crop after that. So, and then also with slugs and snails, um, I have in the past used slugger pellets um, I am going to be prepared with the slugger pellets, they're organic and they're safe to use. I am going to be prepared with um, bucketfuls of those this year because uh, we had major problems with slugs uh, last year and, I, and I'm not sure if it was just like a massive population boom that year because I know that a lot of other people had problems with slugs last year or I don't know whether it was to do with the mulches and things that I was using on the farm but I'm going to be prepared this year because I don't want to lose all of my crops to slugs this year again um, and obviously lupins is a consideration of that as well so what I'm going to do is um, just take you quickly through the process of sowing the seeds so lupins have a pretty um, tough seed coating so the instructions on the seed packet say to soak the seeds in hot water for one to three days and these have been soaking um, I put hot water on them the day before last and I literally just put hot water on them one time and they've been in the cooled water since then so um, the day before last and I can see that they're already starting to um, put out a little um, root shoot so um, they're ready definitely now to be potted up into some compost so um, I'm going to sow these now into these larger seed trays I'm not going to put them into soil blocks because they are quite a large seed and um, I've actually been experimenting with putting 15% um, vermicompost into my um, seed starting mix so I'm using 
um, 15% vermicompost and um, 85% um, Sinclair uh, professional growing medium which um, I think is the one with vermiculite as well. So um, I am actually um, doing some experiments with peat-free compost as well. So I will be um, using that a little bit more this year as well. But for now, I'm just using the Sinclair seed compost, uh, the seed growing medium and 15% uh, vermicastings. And um, I'm going to put one of these into each individual cell um, and then maybe cover it with a bit of vermiculite and um, leave them to germinate. So the lupin seeds that I am sowing are from Chilton Seeds and they are the Band of Nobles series. So these first ones that I'm sowing now are um, from the Band of Nobles series and they are the Pages variety. And then I've got the Chatelaine, which is another variety. And my castle is the next variety. And then the, the other one is just a mix of them all, of, of the mix of the Band of Nobles series. So I've got um, four different, well, three different varieties and then a mix. So hopefully that'll give me a nice mixture of colours. Um, I really liked the pink and the light purple lupins that I grew last year the year before last um but i really didn't like the dark purple colors but i know that some people do so i'm not too fussed if they um come to to come into my seed mix this year but um i might have to kick those out in future years if i find that i'm not using them or selling them very much so i'm trying to just get myself a nice mix of colors together and um hopefully we'll have a really nice collection of lupins to pick from next year so I'm just going to make an indent into each cell just so that the seed can sit in there and have contact with the growing medium at all times. And then I'm just going to take the seeds and pop one into each cell. So I've got my first tray of um, the pages, lupins, sewn, and I think, well, I've decided that I'm going to just top them with compost. I'm not going to put um, vermiculite on top uh, because I think they'll do fine just with a sprinkling of compost. So I'm going to um, set these going. I think I'm going to put them out in the greenhouse um, and they will take, um, how long does it sit? It says it takes 18 to 21 days for them to germinate, but uh, if you could manage to catch capture the um, the video of the seeds in the pots, some of them were already germinating. So um, I know it's going to be a bit cooler for them in the greenhouse, but hopefully they will um, germinate happily in the greenhouse. And then once they are ready to be planted out, I'm going to plant them. I'm, out after the last frost so i'll probably be planting them out about april may time and and like i said they probably will send up a few flower spikes in um autumn time but then they will do their true um first flush next spring so um a little bit of a wait for them but um it's definitely worth it because um like i said i really have fallen in love with them and i think they are a really nice flower to have <laughs>
There's just another thing to mention about when you are picking the lupins. I usually wrap them in some craft paper so that the um, lupins can't see the light because they bend towards the light and I like to create nice strong stems by making sure that they um, don't bend towards the light and they're wrapped up in that craft paper. So if I'm selling them in a bouquet um, and I don't wrap them up, they kind of go a little bit twisty and wild. Um, they do that in anyway, so when the customer takes them home, um, they will bend towards the light, but it's less of a problem if um, the customer just turns the vase around every day. Um, it's, it's, it's actually quite fascinating to see them bending towards the light, so I, I kind of like it and I don't mind it, but um, if a customer has a problem with it, then um, it's worth just mentioning to make sure that they are um, being turned around every day so that they're not bending too much towards the light and creating some funky shapes with their stems. So I hope you found this video useful and you will enjoy growing lupins the same as I do. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and um, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.